Hi guys, Blacklist Dan here. Welcome back to episode two of Sonny's GTI body kit build. In the last episode, you saw me expanding from this front bumper, mark it out and then trim it. So this episode is gonna be quite similar. I'm gonna be refining the bumper, getting smoother edges and a better shape to how it currently looks. But also I'm gonna be trimming the original bumper behind the expanding foam. I'll get to that a little bit later on, but for now, I'm just gonna get started with it. Okay, the expanding foam hasn't gone off yet, but I'm gonna start cutting the bumper anyway. I've actually decided to take these strips off, just that one, that one, and the other side, even though that's still got some foam on it, I'll probably do that one last. I'm gonna take these off because it's gonna be awkward as hell to cut this bumper behind uh, these strips. So I've cut that off and put it back on afterwards. Um, hopefully it should still be sort of rigid. So um, yeah, I'm gonna start drilling the bumper now. I put a hole in each corner and then I'm going to go through it with a reciprocating saw and just butcher it really, so wish me luck. Okay, so I've just took that little strip off that was there, it is now up here. Uh, I'm going to start cutting along here, I'm actually not going to use a rip saw, I'm going to use a grinder instead. The reason I'm doing that, I can actually get a neater cut, I can get in there with the blade and get a nice neat cut along there. Uh, with the rip saw it would be like all over the place, so I'm using this, it's nice and neat. and. Uh, Let's, let's chop this bumper up. <laughs> for an hour it's finally done Ta -da! so these little pieces now the foam pieces I'm going to put them back on I'm gonna have to glue them in place but as you can see I've marked everything out so these little lines all marry up again and it's gonna be nice and flush so I'm gonna glue this one in place glue the other one in place and then the middle ones I'm gonna glue them in place once these have gone off and then it should be back to how it was earlier on and then I can just filler it and work on the body work from then on out and it should be nice and easy but god look at the mess that I've made doing this so I tried it with the battery grinder uh, it just wasn't enough power tried the 240 grinder I thought nah not enough nine inch nine inch done it in the end good to go <laughs> Thank you. 
right then, this thing is back together now. How I've fixed this, I've used expanding foam to glue it, so it's pretty rigid still. And uh, I've actually fixed it in place with screws. There's one screw there, and there's a few down here as well. Just, re just remember guys, yeah, it's not a budge if it works. Okay, that's rule number one. So I'm also a cable tie technician as well, as you can see. <laughs> But yeah, I've uh, I fixed it all back in place. It's glued, it's screwed, and I'm just waiting for it all to go off. The reason this weird contraption's here is because when I cut the, uh, the, the grill from underneath, it actually cut the, uh, like the clips for the, for the grill uh, and the bumper. So when it done that, the whole thing went bang and come out this way. So I've had to glue it from behind and then keep this pressed on it uh, to keep the pressure on it. So it, um, stays in place. All that's back together. All of this stuff I'm gonna have to trim now. I'm gonna extend the back of this out so it comes out to about that far. And then I'm gonna start putting some filler on it so it's rigid. As you can see on this side, I've already done this with a bit of cardboard. I've extended the back of it. You know what I mean now when I say it. So I've extended the back. I've got to extend the back on this as well. There's a bit more cardboard down here. So yeah, it's coming along now quite nicely. It was a bit of a, a nightmare cutting the bumper out and taking it all off, but it's all back together now. And then now it should be plain sailing once everything goes off and I can take the cable ties off and all the screws. So yeah, I'm gonna start fillering in a bit. Once I uh, started trimming and everything, getting it all smooth again, I'm gonna start fillering and then we'll see how things go from there. All right, so all that is done now. I've took the screws out, took that weird contraption off that was here, and uh, everything's pretty rigid as far as expanding foam goes. Oh, there's one screw there I missed. I'll come back to that. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some filler on it just to make it a bit more stiffer. And I'll keep talking about it. I'm actually gonna do it this time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go from there, try and fill some of these big holes in, like these ones here, and try and fill some of them in with a the filler. And uh, hopefully it goes well. So this is a fiberglass kit. I've had to buy this kit because it's gonna eliminate these floppy parts. I don't think filler will fix these because it's just gonna make it more heavy. Uh, whereas the filler does go off and make it a bit rigid, it adds a lot of weight to it and it'll cause it to sag and crack. So my idea behind this, sorry, I'm having to use my phone. I've left my GoPro at home like an idiot. So I'm having to use my phone for this uh, episode. My idea behind using the fiberglass it will make it a lot more rigid. Whereas if you look here, it's really squishy still. And if I was to carry on fillering, it would cost me an absolute fortune in filler to do this. So I brought the fiberglass kit. It's gonna make it a lot more rigid and then it's gonna use up a little bit less filler as well when I actually come to uh, make the correct shape, like smoothing it all off. So uh, I'm gonna carry on with this and enjoy. All right, so with this fiberglass matting, if you look closely, you can see all these little strands that are in it. The reason they do this is to increase the strength of it, whereas if all of these strands were going one way, it would be very brittle, it would snap. So they've done it like that to create the strength. So I'm gonna be cutting these into little sections and reinforcing the parts on the bumper uh, that are sagging. And then I'm, once, once I've reinforced the little parts and they've all gone off, I'm then gonna go around the whole bumper and start fiberglassing it all. But I'm not just gonna put one little piece over a patch that I, that I need to reinforce. It'll be layered so, uh, to increase the strength as well. So I'm gonna start cutting this out for you right now and I'll show you how I do it. Now I've cut these little sheets out. I'm gonna mix up some fiberglass resin and apply these to the bumper. Okay, so when I mix this up, I'm literally putting the resin in the bottom of a bottle that I've cut up. I've lost all my uh, little tubs, I don't know where they are. So I've cut up a bottle and I'm using that. So I'm literally gonna tip some in there. I wasn't expecting it to be blue, I thought it was gonna be like a brownie color. 
doesn't matter the color really. So that's how much I'm going to use for now. So I'm only doing little pieces. So I'll put that away. Give it there. And now I've got the catalyst, which is here. Uh, so this is the additive that you've got to put in that for it to go off. So I'm just going to add a little bit to it. That should be plenty. Literally just gonna mix it up now with the brush. Just keep mixing it so it's thoroughly, thoroughly mixed. All right, so I've just remembered to put gloves on. Uh, the last thing you want is any of this stuff getting on your skin, on your clothes, any, or anything like that really. It's, it's not the nicest stuff. So I'm just gonna keep mixing this up and then I'm gonna start putting the little fiberglass sheets on the car and then I'm gonna put the uh, resin on there as well. Probably shouldn't have it this close to my face as well because I'm starting to smell it. Uh, I should be wearing a mask, but yeah, health and safety guys, wear a mask when you're doing this. Don't do what I do, I'm, I'm an idiot. Let's go. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, I'm literally gonna get my brush like this. Get my brush, just paint a little bit on there, like that, so the fiberglass has something to stick to. All inside these crevices. And then I'll put a sheet, little sheet over the top of it. Say, like that. One little piece there. Get a bit more resin. Go over the top of that, like so. And then get on these little crevices, the recesses again. And it should stick. Well, I've got to let it go off a little bit, but it, it does stick. So again guys, I can't stress enough, make sure you're wearing gloves, uh, probably clothes that you don't care about, and uh, wear a mask as well. Like I said before, I'm an idiot, so don't watch me and think, yeah, I'm gonna be like him. No, I'm, I'm an idiot, don't watch me. There you go, it's just starting to go off now. Okay, I've started to hit a little bit of a problem here with this fiberglass. So these sections here, what I've done in the smaller pieces, I didn't use as much activator like the hardener that you're supposed to mix with the resin. I didn't use as much because I'm used to doing it in a warmer environment and I didn't take the cold into consideration. So that's still wet and that's, it's slightly, slightly tacky, but it's, it's nowhere near ready to go off yet. So I thought with the bigger pieces, I'll actually add a lot more activator. So I've added loads, like. Probably, probably double what I would have with this with this stuff here, and it's still like it's not going off at all because how cold it is. So I'm probably gonna have to call it a day today. I'm gonna have to go and get a big uh, propane tank for my gas heater, and have a start again tomorrow because it's I'm getting nowhere with this at the moment. It's just floppy as hell. Look at this, just nothing's happening. So uh, I'm gonna give it a rest for today and have a fresh start tomorrow and hopefully it goes off overnight but looking at this it's it doesn't look like it's gonna go very well but yeah tomorrow anyway is gonna be a fresh start it's gonna be a lot warmer in here i think it's about one degree two degrees uh, celsius so yeah it's pretty cold in here as you can see from my breath yeah so i'm gonna start a fresh start on it tomorrow and see how things go it's the day after now i've come to check this fiberglass and it has gone off even these bits that were really wet yesterday, they have gone off, but they've uh, they've sort of sagged away a little bit. Like it has, it, I haven't got a nice sharp edge on here. That isn't too bad there, but this is all flopped down. So I'm gonna have to cut all of this back off from here and then put another sheet underneath and try and get that edge back in it. I just pricked myself. Um, also, I've got the gas and I've got this massive bloody jet turbine. Look at the size of that. Excuse the mess behind as well. I just haven't had time to tidy up. 
That thing's massive. If you want to listen to it, it sounds like a jet plane. Hopefully it don't explode. I did find it in the skiff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to carry on fiberglassing now for you and let's try and make a bigger dent in this than what I already have. Because I feel like... I feel like I've been on this thing forever at the moment. I want to start on with the rest of the kit. And also, uh, I want to start doing other modifications. And if you can try and guess what the modifications are, uh, can you leave it in the comments? Because I want to see you all argue amongst yourselves. Because the next one's going to be pretty cool. I know I've done the bonnet, but the next modifications, it's going to be pretty cool as well. So, uh, yeah, leave that in the comments. See what you think it is. And I'm going to crack on with this. I got something, something to say I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain I know it's tough and I know there's pain But hitting bottom is the only way to change So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling I've seen a lot of people who don't know what thirst is I've had a taste of evil and tried to cure the sickness But I just keep my head down and focus on the facts I'm setting down gravel while you just follow the path I'll lead them into battle while you're just too scared to act I'll leave the knife right in my back So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling I'm humbling, keep mumbling, I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing, you've got nothing, I'll keep hustling. Alright, this is how far I've got with the bumper today. Everything's fiberglass now, apart from the bottom bit where I've just used resin on it. My idea is this should be firm enough to actually hold the foam up. Uh, I don't believe it's going to need fiberglass, but I'm just trialling it, so hopefully it should be alright. So hopefully it should just be all right the way it is. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna be coming back and filling the bumper, but first I'm gonna have to get rid of the high spots that are caused from the fiberglass. So this is the end of the video, unfortunately. Uh, Jack, say goodbye. Bye. Bye, you said bye. So yeah, this is the end of the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Come in the morning and oh, I'm so <laughs> Go come in the morning. <laughs> you coming up? Oh god! <laughs> I'm gonna come in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you put emphasis here. I'm gonna come in the morning. <laughs>